In this chapter, we'll show you how to connect the machine to the power supply, how to wind a bobbin, how to thread the machine, and how to adjust thread tension. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, turn the power switch off. Connect the power supply cable to the machine and insert the plug into the power outlet. Turn the machine on using the power switch. After a few seconds, the light will come on and the LCD will momentarily show two icons which indicate that you should not insert USB sticks or switch off the power until the machine has fully booted. Then the embroidery arm will calibrate. When the machine is fully booted, it will automatically display the first of several screens of the built-in embroidery designs. Your machine comes with four Class 15 bobbins, one in the machine and three extra. When shopping for additional bobbins, make sure they are Singer Class 15, not Class 15J, transparent bobbins. Do not use pre-wound or paper bobbins as these may cause stitch problems. Go to SingerCO.com for information on where to purchase additional Singer Class 15 bobbins. Best embroidery results will be obtained by using bobbin fill thread in the bobbin. Bobbin fill is lighter in weight than all-purpose thread. This not only helps minimize density on the back of the embroidery, but it allows more thread to be wound onto the bobbin. To access the bobbin, slide the bobbin case cover release button to the right and the bobbin case cover will release. Remove the bobbin. To wind the bobbin, place a spool of bobbin thread onto the spool pin. Attach the spool holder to secure the thread spool firmly in place. Pull the thread so it is coming off the spool like this. Three spool holders are included as standard accessories. The large spool holders are used with basic thread spool sizes and the small spool holder for smaller thread spools. Hold the thread and slip it under and around the tension disc. Insert the end of the thread through the hole of the bobbin from the inside. Place the bobbin onto the bobbin winder spindle and push it to the right. The LCD screen will show that the machine is in bobbin winding mode. Hold the free end of the thread and then press the start stop button. Stop the machine after the thread has been wound a few revolutions and then trim the thread close to the bobbin. Press the start stop button again. When the bobbin is fully wound, it will stop spinning. Press the start stop button to stop the machine. Return the bobbin winder spindle to the left and remove the bobbin. Cut the thread with the thread cutter on the top of the machine. Notice that the bobbin case cover has a diagram of the correct threading order of the bobbin thread. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder so that the thread unwinds counterclockwise. Draw out the thread and slip it into the notch in the front. Gently pull the thread to the left through the tension spring blades until the thread slips into the groove on the side. Draw the free end of the thread to the back, leaving a 4 inch tail. Reattach the bobbin case cover plate. If you need to wind a bobbin during embroidery, use the auxiliary spool pin, spool pin felt, and spool stand. First, press the start stop button to stop stitching. Raise the presser foot lifter. Raise the needle to its highest position. Remove the hoop and trim the thread. Wind the bobbin. Then return it to the bobbin case and replace the cover. Draw up the bobbin thread. Replace the hoop. Lower the presser foot lifter. Backup stitches if necessary. 
then resume stitching. By doing so, you won't have to unthread the machine in order to wind the bobbin. Not only can the auxiliary spool pin be used to wind a bobbin during embroidery, but it can also be used when embroidering with threads or spool styles that tend to feed more smoothly when standing vertically. Use the auxiliary spool pin and base so these threads don't get caught underneath the spool. Use the spool pin that suits the style of thread spool you are using for your project. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin with the thread coming off the spool like this and set it firmly in place with a spool holder. Raise the presser foot lifter before you start to thread the top of the machine. Now turn the hand wheel toward you to bring the needle to its highest position. Each part of the threading sequence is marked by a number indicating its order in the threading sequence. Hold the thread and pass it under the thread guide. Draw the thread toward you along the channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the thread guide on the needle clamp. Push the needle threader lever down as far as it will go. A hook will come through the needle eye from behind. Bring the thread down around the threader guide and under the hook. Release the threader slowly while lightly holding the end of the thread with your hand. A loop of thread will be pulled through the eye of the needle. Pull the tail of the thread through the eye of the needle. To draw up the bobbin thread, turn the hand wheel toward you one complete revolution while holding the end of the needle thread. Pull the needle thread to lift a loop of the bobbin thread. Pass the needle thread and draw it up to the thread holder. It is always a good idea to test sew your design before applying it to your project. Depending on the fabric and type of thread, the tension may be adjusted for optimum results. You can adjust the upper thread tension manually using the tension dial. It is not necessary to adjust bobbin tension as this is preset at the factory. If the thread tension is adjusted properly, a small amount of needle thread will show through on the underside of the fabric. If the bobbin thread shows on the top side of the fabric, this means the upper thread tension is too tight. Reduce the tension on the upper thread by turning the tension dial to a lower number. If the needle thread forms loops and stitches look loose and uneven, increase the tension by turning the dial to a higher number. Your machine has built-in quick reference tutorials. Press the Help button and you can choose from four tutorials. Changing needles, inserting the bobbin, threading the machine, and winding the bobbin. Select the tutorial you wish to view, then use the page forward and back buttons to scroll through the steps. Press the exit button to finish.